Yo, it's Herman here with Adobe and Epidemic Sound, and in this video, I'm gonna share five creative transitions you can easily do in Premiere Pro. Now, when I first started video editing, I'd have troubles with my edits feeling flat, especially for faster paced short form content. I learned that transitions are a great way to spice up your edits, and it's especially helpful for montage style videos where you want your video to be eye-catching. Whether you use them for your music videos, travel videos, or recap videos, I guarantee there is something for you here. The flicker transition is a super easy one where all you have to do is cut away some frames between your two shots. Those gaps between your clips will create a flicker effect that adds a bit of intensity to your video. Using overlays is a great way to add style to your edit. Personally, I don't think you can ever go wrong with some lens flares or light leaks. Let's check out Adobe Stock's video collection since they have an incredible selection and make it super easy to place into your edit. So let's go to stock.adobe.com and go to videos. Let's type in light leak transition in the search bar to see what comes up. I get some amazing options right away and this one catches my eye. Now, if you're like me and you want to try it out in your edit first, Adobe Stock makes it super easy with the open in app button. Just give it a click and choose the program that you want to open it in. If I have my Premiere project opened already, then it'll bring the clip straight in for me to use right away. Let's place this likely clip on top of my two clips where I want the transition to happen and then change the blending mode of the clip to screen. Just like that, you have a stylish transition. If you're happy with it, you can buy that clip right in Premiere by clicking the shopping cart icon and using your Adobe Stock credits. A whip pen is another great transition to use from one scene to another. It's usually done in camera, but here's a way for you to do it easily in Premiere Pro. Apply the transform effect by searching it up in the effects panel and typing it in. Then drag it over to both your clips. With the first clip selected, go to the effects control panel and look for your transform effect. You're going to want to adjust the position of your video by keyframing it. Keyframing basically tells your video what it should do at a specific time. To add a keyframe to our position, click the stopwatch icon next to position. At this moment, we want the video to stay in frame so we won't change the position values yet. Let's move the playhead forward closer to the end of our first clip. Now we can adjust the position values so that the clip is completely out of frame. You'll want to introduce some motion blur by changing the shutter angle to something like 180. If we play it back, the clip starts in frame, but then moves completely away. Now let's place our second shot on top of the first clip so that it overlaps a little. What you'll want to do is keyframe the position like we did previously, but have it so that the shot enters the frame in the same direction. Make sure to also change the shutter angle here so that the motion blur glues it all together. Now here is a fun transition that uses adjustment layers in your sequence. Let's start off by creating a new adjustment layer by clicking the new item icon and going to adjustment layer. Drag it over to your sequence so that it's on top of your clips. Let's also trim it so that it's a reasonable length. We're going to duplicate this adjustment layer by holding Alt if you're on a PC or Option for Mac and then dragging the layer one track above. Then let's trim the top adjustment layer so that it only lasts one frame during the moment before we see the second clip. Now we're ready to add some effects. So let's head over to the effects panel and look up color balance HLS. Then drag that over to your bottom adjustment layer. We're going to keyframe the hue so that it continues to change color throughout the duration of the adjustment layer. How long this should last is completely up to you. You can even cut out some frames from the adjustment layer so that the effect flickers a little bit. Lastly, add an invert effect by searching it up in the effects panel and dragging it over to our top adjustment layer, the one that lasts one frame. Let's play it back and see what it looks like. And that is how you make an eye-catching transition with some simple effects. Finally, we have the glitch transition, which is also achieved by using Adobe Stock. Instead of light leak transition, let's search for glitch transition this time. Just like before, we've got a bunch to choose from, so let's go with this one. We'll open it up in our app just like we did before so that we can test it out in our edit right away. We can play with a blending mode and use this clip as an overlay if we want. But another thing that we can try is by using this clip as a track mat. Let's position the layers so that the first clip overlaps on top of the second clip. Then we're going to apply a track mat key by finding it in the effects panel and dragging it over to our first clip. Change the mat to the video layer where your glitch clip is, which is video three in my case. Then set the composite using to matte luma. You might not see your clip anymore, but all you have to do is click the reverse box. Now your first clip will flicker and glitch into the second shot. You can even use the glitch clip as an overlay by duplicating it and using a different section of the clip and changing the blending mode to something like screen for a cooler transition. Transition. 
And just like before, we can buy our stock footage right in Premiere by clicking the shopping cart icon in our project panel. There we have it, everyone five eye-catching transitions that you can use for any kind of edit that you like. One more tip that I want to leave you with is that you can enhance the visuals of your transitions by adding the right soundtrack. Luckily, Adobe Stock Audio makes it incredibly easy with the way that it's integrated in Premiere Pro. It gives you access to many music libraries such as Epidemic Sound, and you don't even need to leave the program to preview or purchase the music. Be sure to check that out if you want your transitions to feel even more impactful. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you'll use at least one of these easy-to-do transitions. If you're looking for more tips and tricks, make sure to check out the other episodes of the Social Edit series. Until next time, have fun creating.